Hey guys, so today I'm back with a video that I've been meaning to film for absolutely ages and haven't gotten around to it. It's the I Heart Drugstore makeup tag. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before because pretty much all of my YouTube friends and lots of YouTube girls have been filming it. I think it kind of started in November, December. Um, and I've been meaning to do it for absolutely ages because I saw it and I was like, yes, I really want to do that. And for some reason, I just never ended up filming it. And I'm now doing it today. So the first question in the tag is what is your favourite drugstore makeup brand? And this is a really tricky one for me because my favourite drugstore brands tend to change um, every like year or a couple of years, depending on the kind of what new products the brands are bringing out. But at the moment, the overall winner, like clearly, I think they are so on fire with their product releases at the moment, is Rimmel. Seriously, like their foundations are fantastic, their Wake Me Up foundation, their Match Perfection foundation, their lip glosses they've just released are amazing. I will be talking about loads of Rimmel products during this video, so you guys will find out about my favourite ones, but I just think Rimmel are seriously like on it at the moment. So the second question in the tag is what are your favourite face, cheek and lip products? So for face products, again talking about Rimmel, um, my two favourite drugstore foundations at the moment at least are Rimmel's Match Perfection Foundation and Rimmel's Wake Me Up Foundation. I think they're both great. You can pick them up for between like six eight, nine pounds, depending on if they're on offer. They're usually on like three for two at some point as well. Um, love these, I think they're great. The shade selection isn't fantastic, but the actual formulation is amazing. And then obviously, as you guys will all know, my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer, it gets talked about all the time, I don't need to talk about it anymore, but it is definitely one of the star kind of drugstore products. For drugstore cheek products, I'd have to say my favorite brand is NYX. Now, these are the only three products I have from NYX, and you can tell how much I love this one for a start. Like, it is just dirty and disgusting. I need to buy a new one. Um, these are really cheap. I think they're like, I think they're about £4.99 in the UK and the States. So they're around the $5 kind of mark. I picked these up at IMATS in LA in the summer, and I've used this one like the whole time. It, it's barely even like use. It's definitely nowhere near finished. This is their powder blush in Dusty Rose. It's great. The colour is great. It stays on. And I also love their cream blushes. I just think they generally do the best blushes around in terms of drugstore. Um, so yeah, NYX definitely on the cheek front. As for lip products at the moment, it's got to be the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. These are just amazing. Like seriously, the pigmentation is great. They stay for ages, the finish is gorgeous, I absolutely love them, I think they're such such a good buy. They are the kind of lip product that you would expect to be from like YSL or some really high-end brand. They're just wonderful, I absolutely love them, I definitely recommend that you check them out. They have only just been released in the UK and I've had a lot of questions in the video where I featured them before, um, which is around Christmas time, I had a lot of questions about when and if they would be available internationally. I do believe they are kind of going wherever Rimmel is sold in the world, but it usually takes a while. I know the states are usually a few months behind us in terms of releases, so love those. Again, the Rimmel by Kate Moss lipsticks are also fantastic, and the Topshop lip glosses I also love. They're some of my favourites. So question three is, what is your least favourite drugstore product? And I mentioned this in my last beauty video, which was my disappointing products, kind of seeing a bit of a link here. Um, the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Foundation. This just isn't very good, and I, I think a, a lot of the reason why I'm including this as my least favourite product is how much it disappointed me, because I thought it was going to be great, and it just wasn't. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It looks kind of cakey, and the colours are really weird and off. As for best makeup bargain, again, it's got to be the Collection 2000 Concealer. I know I talk about this all the time, but really it is good, and it's £4. Like, really? £4 for like the best concealer ever? I never use any of my high-end concealers. I always use this one. It's definitely the best bargain, in my opinion. Question five, what are your favourite underdog products? So, products you think don't get enough love um, online or on YouTube. For me, these have got to be the Soap and Glory. Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Sticks. Now, I've mentioned these a couple of times in my videos, but I haven't really seen many other people mention them. I'm wearing um, Plum Jam at the moment, and then I also have the Fuchsia Colour. These products are just really, really great, and I just don't really hear anyone talking about them very often. They are a super kind of moisturising, balmy lip gloss. They taste like vanilla. They have a really nice kind of colour payoff. It's not too bright, but it's just perfect for everyday wear. Absolutely love them. They're twist up as well, so you don't have to worry about sharpening and in general I just love these, they are great and people need to rave about them more because they are really that good and they taste like 
so delicious. So number six, a drugstore product that is overpriced. This was a total no-brainer for me because I get frustrated about it on like a weekly basis. It's the Max Factor, I think it's the False Lash Effect Mascara they call it in the UK. This one is actually the CoverGirl equivalent. It's exactly the same mascara as the Max Factor one. They are made by the same people, it's the same company. But in the UK, they're like £15, and in the US, they are like $7 or something. It's like a third of the price. It's just ridiculous, like absolutely crazy. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, um, which in the UK is in a purple tube made by Max Factor, and it's called Clump Defy. They are amazing mascaras, and at the end of the day, like, if you can't get them in the States, if you don't, like, have a friend that goes over there or lives there, can send you one, whatever, they are kind of kind of worth the money, like they're as good as high-end mascaras in my opinion, but it just really frustrates me that they are like a third of the price in the States. It's just really, really frustrating. So that is my overpriced product. I didn't even have to think about it for more than about three seconds because it frustrates me that much. Number seven is show your best drugstore dupes. And I have three drugstore dupes that I think are amazing and that I don't actually hear that many people talk about very often. The first one is a dupe for the YSL Rouge Volupte Sheer Candy lipsticks. Now these have the most amazing packaging, they smell nice, they look nice, but at the end of the day they are like a tinted balm and a great dupe for these in the drugstore is the Maybelline Baby Lips, more specifically the colours that I have. This is the number four of the YSL and this is I actually can't even remember the number of this one, and it doesn't say on it. Oh, it does. Cherry Me. The only difference between these, really, is the smell. For me, personally, like, I prefer the Maybelline one. It smells really fake and chemically, but it smells like cherries, and it's really good. But the actual finish, the colour of them, they're really similar. This is, like, £24 or something, I think, and this is about... Five dollars in the States, so crazy, crazy, crazy difference. I know the packaging, you are paying for the packaging because it's wonderful, but in terms of the products, pretty similar, like they look the same. Another drugstore dupe that I think is absolutely amazing is one for eyeliners. Now, this eyeliner is my Bobbi Brown dual ended eyeliner. It was actually limited edition for last Christmas, but they have since bought out um, the single eyeliners in the same formulation. Anyway, they are the kind of gel eyeliner in a stick, like super waterproof versions. This one has a like chrome silver on one end and a super super jet black on the other end and they're just absolutely wonderful. They stay on all day. The colour pigmentation is amazing. This is limited edition, it's pretty much almost run out and I was thinking the other day, I absolutely love the Rimmel Scandalize eyeliners and I've spoken about them in a couple of videos already. The black and the silver of these are like absolutely identical to the Bobbi Brown ones. They're such a good dupe and these are like, I think they're $3.99 each, again, on sale all of the time. Rimmel are just owning it at the moment. This year, I think, really, they're doing so, so well. So these are great. If you don't have one of these in your collection already, I would definitely recommend trying them. They're as good as so many of those eyeliners, like the NARS Larger Than Life, the Urban Decay 24-7, the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes, the Bobbi Brown Longwear ones. They are pretty much the same formula, but for like a quarter of the price. Love those. And then my final favourite drugstore dupe is one for MAC lip glosses. I think the Topshop lip glosses are really similar, both in formulation, in pigmentation as well, they can be really similar depending on the colour. This is actually the only MAC lip gloss I have left in my collection because I really don't rate them that much considering you can buy like almost identical ones for half the price. Um, but I don't actually have an identical colour to this colour. But in terms of the colours that Topshop do, I'm pretty sure you can find the same colour in MAC. It's more about the formulation. Rumour has it they're made by the same people. I don't know if that's true. Um, but they are very, very similar. And these actually taste slightly nicer. They're a little bit more vanilla -y. Um, so yeah, the Topshop lip glosses are great. And then the last and final question in the iHeart drugstore makeup tag is a product that you think isn't worth the hype. And there have been a few of these products over the years that I think aren't really worth the hype, but the one at the moment that I just really don't get, it's been getting a lot of hype and I don't really like it that much, is the new Nivea um, lip butters. Now, I only have this one in Raspberry Rose or Raspberry Rose. Um, I think you can get like macadamia cream or whatever in the States. I haven't seen those ones in the UK, but personally, like, I find this a little waxy. Like, I've used it quite a bit and it tastes nice, but it just feels a little waxy on your lips and it also leaves you with kind of like dead looking lips. That's pretty, pretty sure it's this color that does that because it's kind of like a whitey pink. 
Um, it's nice, but I just definitely think, like, I prefer Carmex and, like, a lot of the other cheap, affordable lip balms out there, I think, are slightly better. I definitely don't think it's worth all the crazy hype that's getting online at the moment. Um, it's okay, it's nice, it's like $1.99 or $1.50 or something, and the packaging is cute, but I just don't think it's amazing. I really don't. So, yeah, that is it for my eye, heart, drugstore makeup tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to tag anyone because pretty much all of my YouTube friends have done it, but if you like to make videos here on YouTube, then feel free to do it. I'll just tag you all. And, yeah, that is it for today. Don't forget to enter my designer handbag giveaway. If you haven't seen it already, I'll put a link at the end of this video, and you can go and enter. For a chance to win one of five gorgeous handbags, then make sure you go and check that out. I will see you very soon, guys. Bye!